omg welcome back to my channel that i have been so inactive on for the last year or so i believe um as you can tell by the title we are going to be trying knotless box braids for the first time so i guess we'll jump right into it these are the items that you will need to accomplish this look all it takes is three bags of your preferred choice of hair some edge control a nice scrunchie a hair clip some mousse some shine mist flexi rods you need a wooden tray a handheld mirror you need scissors you need a rat tail comb you need a wide tooth comb you need a hair tie i won't go through the whole list because we can see okay so of course you're just going to take a section of hair you're going to part it in a neat part You're going to then grab three pieces of your natural hair and begin to plait downward. And as you can see, I'm taking a piece of the pre-stretched braiding hair and I'm feeding that into my pre-plaited hair. And then I'm gonna add another piece. I'm gonna also feed that in as well. And I'm just going to keep adding pieces until I get the desired thickness of the braid that I want. And here's another piece of hair that I am just adding in. So for me, I did about three to five pieces. Um, I didn't want all my braids, believe it or not, to look exactly the same. I do like some type of variation, even though it's black and it looks the same to the eye from a distance. But for me, I know it's a difference, so that's what I prefer. And so here I was just showing you all how I separated the hair. Um, you can make these pieces much smaller. You can make them bigger. It's totally up to you, whatever you prefer. Okay, and so here I'm just trying to give you all a much better view of what I did previously. So again, you'll braid your real hair down into a braid and you'll take a piece of the hair and you will go ahead and feed that in and you'll keep adding pieces of the pre-stretched braiding hair to your desired thickness. And finally for the end, I'm taking my very last two pieces. Doesn't that always feel good to get to the very end? If you do your own hair, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you.
And for the very last braid, I am doing the same thing that I've been doing since the beginning. I'm just braiding my real hair down once again into a braid, not all the way, just enough to feel secure. And I'm just going to keep taking multiple pieces of the pre-stretched braiding hair and I'm going to keep filling in those pieces until I have gotten my desired thickness. As you can see for the very end I decided to include me curling the hair as I'm boiling it I wanted my ends to be curly for the first time I've done curly before but never with flexi rods um, I've always just braided the hair and then you know gotten little bitty cute little like curls but they've never been these type of curls and I really love the way it came out so if you want to do this technique it's very known, it's very common. You can definitely do so, and if you wanna keep the end straight, you're more than welcome to do so. And these are how the curls came out. So I honestly never knew the purpose of foam usage for braids, but of course, if you think about it, you use foam to lay down your hair. So it would be the same concept with braids, especially because you have more flyaways in this instance. So I'm just taking some foam and I kind of went in um, just because I really wanted to get that sleek, defined, really, really flat look. I had also just relaxed my hair the day before, so my hair in itself was already very, very flat, which I love. So it was pretty easy to work with. And then here you see me taking that shine mist that I showed in the very beginning. That's just to get rid of the edge control if it left any type of a white cast. And I'm just towel drying the ends because I was going to sleep after this and I did not want to soak up my pillows with wet water. <laughs> And so here, I was just trying to show you guys the parts, trying to get a good angle for you all. I would say all in all, this took about 12 hours for me to do. I started at 8 p.m. and I wasn't finished until 4 a.m. But that does include me stopping to feed my son, to change him. So I would say it takes about eight to 10 hours only because it was my first time, but I was just wrapping it up for bed. Thank you all for watching and be blessed.